اللهم صل على سيدنا محمد في الملأ الأعلى إلى Elhamdülillahi Rabbil Alemin Ve salatu ve selamu ala Resulina Muhammedin ve ala alihi ve sahbihi ecmain Nehmedullahi Teala ve nastaghfiru ve şerve en la ilahe illallah vahdehu la şerike lah Ve şerve enne seyyidina Muhammeden abduhu ve habibuhu ve resuluhu Sallallahu aleyhi ve ala alihi ve zvacihi ve sahabihi tabi khulafi raşidin mahadi min ba'di Ve zerimme teala tahkik, huzzimme talemeti khulafi resulü ala tahkik Umar al-Mu'minin, Hazreti Ebu Bakr ve Osmanu Ali وعلى بكر صحابة التابعين ودوان الله تعالى عليهم أجمعين يا أيها المؤمن الحاضرون اتقوا الله تعالى وتوين الله هم الذين اتقوا الذين هم مخسنون الحمد لله رب العالمين والصلاة والسلام على شرف الأنبياء المرسلين سيدنا مولانا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه أجمعين All praises are due to Allah Lord of the universes He سبحانه وتعالى is saying the Quran الكريم Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim By the book that makes things clear We revealed it during a blessed night Because we wish to warn In that night is made distinct Every precise matter By command from our presence Because we are ever sending A mercy from your Lord for he hears and knows all things. Lord of the heavens and the earth and all that is between them, if you have an assured faith, there is no Allah except him. It is he who gives life and gives death. Your Lord 
and the lord of your first forefathers. Yet they play about in doubt. Sadaqallah al -Azim. Ya Allah, send your blessings upon Sayyidina Muhammad and the family of Sayyidina Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa as you have blessed Sayyidina Ibrahim and the family of Sayyidina Ibrahim. Verily, you are the praiseworthy and glorious. Ya Allah, send your peace upon Sayyidina Muhammad and the family of Sayyidina Muhammad as you have sent peace upon Sayyidina Ibrahim and the family of Sayyidina Ibrahim. Verily, you are the praiseworthy and glorious. Rasulullah is saying, the most merciful from my Ummah to my Ummah is Abu Bakr. And the most serious of them concerning the commands of Allah is Umar. And the truest in modesty amongst them is Osman. And the best in judging is Ali. The masters of the youth of paradise are Hassan and Hussein. And the master of the women of paradise is Fatima. And Hamza is the lion of Allah and the lion of his prophet. Ya Allah, grant your forgiveness to Abbas and his children and outward and inward forgiveness and leave no mistake unforgiven. Allah, Allah, fear Allah when it comes to my sahabis. Fear Allah when it comes to my sahabis. Do not make them targets after me. Whoever loves them, he loves them because of his love for me. And whoever hates them, hates them because of his hatred towards me. And the best of my nation is my generation than those who follow them and those who follow them. The Sultan is the shadow of Allah on earth. Whoever honors the Sultan, Allah will honor him. And whoever hates the Sultan, Allah will hate him. And the Prophet of Allah speaks the truth. Ya Yuhal Mu'minun, O believers, today is the last Juma of Ramadan. Since Rajab Shahrullah, we have been running and waiting and hoping for the Ramadan to come. And now, so quickly, we are saying Al Wada to this month of mercy, this month of forgiveness, this month of freedom from the hellfire. For the one with Iman, the departure of Ramazan, it must fill his heart with sadness. For the one with Iman, the end of Ramazan must make him to run more than he ran in the beginning because every soul is going to taste death. And we do not know if our death is waiting for us before the next Ramazan. Hazrat Fakhr al-Alam, Muhammad Mustafa wasalam, said, In the last night of Ramazan, all the heavenly creatures, they all get together and they begin to cry for the disaster that is about to come to the nation of Muhammad. The Sahabis ask, what disaster is that, Ya Rasulullah? And he والسلام, answered, the disaster is that the month of Ramadan is coming to an end. And with it, all the blessings it bestows upon mankind. For the one who says shahadat, his heart must be turning in these days and asking, did I treat this Ramadan properly? The Sultan came. As a guest, did I treat the Sultan well? The Sultan came with gifts. Did I serve him well? The Sultan came with forgiveness. Did I conduct myself with manners? And when he puts his head down, he's going to know that he can do more. And he's going to run to do more because the ocean of pleasing Allah and his prophet it is endless. We can always do more. This is how the believers must look. We still have some days left in Ramadan. We should run so that we are not the most unfortunate ones when the eat day comes. Don't be fooled by your desires. Don't be fooled by this dunya. Don't be fooled that the end of Ramazan is coming to the end and there's going to be great celebration because Ramazan is ending. Don't be fooled 
that these last few nights of huge mercy that we're going to be busy with eating and drinking only and celebrating because the Sultan has not left yet. We're asking Allah that we'll treat the next few nights with proper respect. Gawzul Azam, Shaykh Abdul Qadir Gailani Qadas Allah Sir is giving us heavy warning saying what a horrible disaster it must be to live through a month whose beginning is mercy, the middle is forgiveness and the end is freedom from the hellfire and yet find yourself left out from sharing the peace that comes by the angels of the Lord of the sinners and the righteous. What could have brought this misfortune, this curse on you? Is it because of your fairness? Is it due to your fairness from the merciful one? Or to you being an agent of tyranny and a willing helper of shaitan and to following the rebellious style of those who walk the path to hell? Is this misfortune because you stayed far away from the people who are walking to Jannah and because you didn't want to obey the one who has control over giving harm and giving benefit. Ramazan is the month of peace and purity, the month of fulfillment and loyalty. It is the month of the people of zikr, the month of the people of patience, the month of the people of truthfulness. So if it is not making your heart to get better, if it does not make you to stop from rebellious actions towards your Lord and does not make you to stay away from the association of troublemakers and criminals, then what could have a positive effect on your heart? What goodness could be hoped for in a case like yours? What saving quality can there be in someone like you? What good outcome? can be expected from a person like you. You had better pay attention, you miserable, wretched person, and try to learn from what has happened to you. Come to your senses, wake up from your sleep, shake off from your gaflat, take a good, hard look at what has happened to you. However little of Ramazan is left, you must run for every chance for repentance and to show Allah that you are regretful. Take full advantage of what time is left to ask for forgiveness and be obedient. If you follow this advice, you might still have the chance to be one of those that receive mercy and compassion. Then, when Ramazan comes to its end, you should say farewell to it by crying a lot. You should cry. You should cry about your unfortunate self. Cry sincerely because you must know. So many people who fasted this year will never fast again. And so many who stood up for Qiyam al-Layl will never stand for the night prayers again. And the words of the friends of Allah speak the truth. These are the words of a sultan, of a king-size wali. This is how the awliya Allah, they speak. This is how they give sohbat. They bring your reality in front of you. They make you see the ugliness of your ego and they show you the way back to safety. The advice is there for us. It is our choice and it is our job to follow it. Sahib al-Sayf, Shaykh Abdul Karim al-Kibri Siyar Abani, Qadis Allah Sir is saying, too sad. They should be too sad. Those ones who have destroyed the whole month of Ramazan. They didn't show the proper respect. They didn't take care of it. Who did it? Who did it? Who took care of it? They should be very happy. Who kept Ramazan properly? With proper respect, giving their respect to Allah and His Prophet والسلام, They should be happy. They should be happy now and they're going to be happy in the judgment day. Beyond that too. This is advice for you and it is advice for me. We must ask ourselves, did we destroy our Ramazan? Did we show it proper adab? Will our Ahirat be sadness or will it be happiness?
Alhamdulillah that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is Rahman and Rahim. Alhamdulillah that His beloved one is Rahmat al Alameen. And Alhamdulillah that our Shaykh is the most generous one. That Holy Prophet, like said to us, salam, he secured a grant for us from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that gives us another chance even when the Ramadan is coming to an end. Once the Holy Prophet, like said to us, salam, was telling his Sahabis about four from the Bani Israel who worshipped Allah for more than 80 years without disobeying him, without disobeying him for even the blink of an eye. 80 years they were worshipping. Four. He was talking about Hazrat Ayyub alayhi salam. Hazrat Zakaria alayhi salam. Hazrat Hiskil alayhi salam. And Hazrat Yusha ibn Nun alayhi salam. And the Sahabis, they were amazed at the lifespan of those righteous ones, those prophets from the Ben Israel. And they were sad because they knew that their lifespan was so short. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala heard the sadness from the Holy Prophet He heard the sadness that is coming from the companions of the Prophet. He heard the sadness and the disappointment that that was given to an earlier nation and not given to the nation of his most beloved one. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala sent Jibrail alayhi salam to his beloved one and he said, Ya Rasulullah, it looks like you and your Sahabis are very surprised to learn about these ones who are worshipping and serving Allah for 80 years without any disobedience, even for a blink of an eye. So now Allah has sent you something even better than that. In Jibrail alayhi salam recited the Holy Quran, Surah Al Qadr, saying, Bismillah Rahman Rahim, behold. We sent it down on the night of power. And what will make you know what is the night of power? The night of power, it is better than a thousand months. In it, the angels and the spirit come down by their Lord's permission on every task. Peace it is until the rising of the dawn. This Laylatul Qadr, it is a gift to us from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Sent to make his Habib alayhi salatu wasalam pleased and happy. Because the Holy Prophet alayhi salatu wasalam, he was crying for us. He was crying for Allah to forgive us. He was crying with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to give, to give us a chance to reach safety. He was crying for us from his birth until he left this world. He cries for us now when he sees our state. And when he cries, he asks Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala does not send his Habib away empty-handed. Once, the Holy Prophet wasalam, was crying for us. And Jibrail alayhi salam came and said, Ya Rasulullah, Allah promises to give your nation everything he gave to the prophets of the past except the title of prophethood. Other than that, he wants to give them his mercy and favor in the same measure that he gave to their prophets. He has said, peace be upon Nuh in the worlds. And he gave him prophethood along with Salam and he saved him from the flood. And he said, peace be upon Musa and Harun, as he gave them salams and made them victorious over Firaun and safe from his plots. Then he said, peace be upon Ibrahim. And he gave Ibrahim his salams and safety from the fire of Nimrud and saved him from destruction. Now he has sent me, Jibrail, in this Laylatul Qadr to bring salams to your nation and to whoever Allah sends his salams, he also sends his mercy. So give your ummat this good news. Allah has said, O oh my beloved, do not be sad from your nation because I will give them a high rank 
and a dignity when they have left this world. May Allah bless and raise the station of our Prophet. We are looking for Laylatul Qadr. Yes, the Ottomans are saying it can be any night. They are saying treat every night like it is Laylatul Qadr and treat every person as if he is Hizr. But we have been told to look special in Ramadan and especially in the last 10 nights and especially in the odd nights and especially on the 27th night. We must run and make intention to find it because this night is not like any other nights. It is a night of holy activity in the heavens and the activity of the heavens comes down to earth. Hazrat Ibn Abbas is saying that as soon as Laylatul Qadr comes, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala sends Jibrail alayhi salam and a company of 70,000 angels from the dwellers of Sidratul Muntaha to go to the earth. They will carry with them banners of light. And once they have reached the earth, Jibrail alayhi salam will set up the banners next to the Kaaba, next to the Holy Prophet's tomb, next to the Masjid al-Aqsa and next to the Masjid of Tur Sina. Then Jibrail alayhi salam will tell the angels to spread out and they will go in all directions. And they will go and greet the believers and they will pray for them. That night, we must look for it tonight and every night until the Ramazan ends. Our hearts are beating now. We have the breath of life now. We should not waste our time. Ramazan came and we said, Hosh Geldin to it. It is now leaving. And we are saying, Al Wada. We should run while we have a chance so that we may say goodbye to it with honor and with dignity. We must run to ask our Lord for His mercy, for His forgiveness, for freedom from the fire. This last few days of Ramazan, we should show proper honor to the Sultan that is leaving. Our Grand Shaykh, Shaykh Maulana Muhammad Nazim Adil Haqqani, Qadazullah Sir, is saying, This holiest of night is granted to Holy Prophet from his Lord Almighty Allah. In, need all, in it, all powers dress him, all lights illuminate him, and all angels come to him. The Archangel Jibrail comes to him and he is dressed with countless honors on this holy night. The angels ask forgiveness from Allah for the people for the sake of the master of humanity from the owner of creation. For his honor, may Allah forgive us and take away our bad states. May Allah change our conditions from bad to good and change everything in us to be for his sake. May we be good servants, obedient servants, beloved servants, respected servants, and praised servants. Try to be servants such as this. Ya Rabbi, we're asking to be in your mercy to be good servants. We're asking for your pleasure and the pleasure of your Habib. We're asking for the companionship of your friends and to be in their service. Ya Rabbi, have mercy on us. Ya Rabbi, forgive us. Ya Rabbi, free us from the fire. Ya Rabbi, raise the station of the one who taught us to love you and to serve you. Raise the maqam of our Shaykh Sahib will say, Shaykh Abdul Kalmik Kabrisi Ya Rabbani. Amin. Allah'a ekber, Allah'a ekber, la ilahe illallah, 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 la